We have even more losers that continue to get on their knees for Sweet Baby Inc. Yes, this topic has been going on for hell long at this point. I don't think it's going away anytime soon. Whether that be a good thing or a bad thing, but the whole industry is falling apart and I'm all here for it. More people are going to continue gaslighting gamers and pretend like we're the bad guys when they're the ones that started this whole nonsense with Gamergate 2, Sweet Baby controversy, and it's going to continue getting worse. And these journalists are in full fucking denial and I can't be surprised. They'll come to realize that we don't give a shit about games journalists. We don't read articles and shit. We go to Twitter for news. We go to YouTube and watch people who are actually interested and not gonna try to disrespect us and try to talk down to us like they're better than us. So let's just read this tweet from Steve Kim. Don't know who you are. Don't really care. Either a journalist or a game developer. And the tweet says, been intentionally not paying attention to the entire sweet baby thing because I have a general understanding of these types of shitheads that are behind harassment campaign. This outlined the entire thing really well and yup, fucking dumbass shitheads are up to their bullshit again. I don't know who the hell is he talking about when it comes to dumbass shit head campaigns whatever the hell he said let me guess he's gonna forget or purposely omit the fact this whole thing started with a harassment campaign against the steam curator group who are like tracking all the sweet baby games and all the games they worked on and helped develop and help write or just wrote entirely so i just find it funny that he's considering people who are criticizing this to be the harassers when this whole thing started with an harassment campaign by one of Sweet Baby's employees where if he would have just shut his mouth and not be bothered with this, nobody would be even talking about Sweet Baby Inc. like that because they were back in the background. They were in the shadow realm. They were in the Phantom Zone. You started hearing about their name maybe with like Spider-Man 2. Definitely I feel like Spider-Man 2 because that was the game that I felt like this is like the most woke game I ever played. They had gender spectrum flags. They had Peter getting cocked. Peter getting replaced by a black or quote unquote POC protagonist. You had two gay children getting it on going on homecoming. You had to set them up. It was just the creepiest shit ever. It just that was the most overt left wing politics I've ever seen in a video game in my entire life. This shit shoved in your fucking face but the point is that what i'm trying to say is that if sweet baby never would have started the harassment campaign we wouldn't even be talking about this like that now we're paying super close attention where before it was just okay spider-man is like the gayest game ever made this shit is annoying and that's it even when the suicide squad came out Yes, the writing was trash and Sweet Baby did the writing for the game, but the main controversy with that game, it was just the downfall of Rocksteady. How they went from peak action game to a disgraced looter shooter generic loot box garbage and disrespected these legendary iconic fictional characters, the Justice League, and especially Kevin Convoy, rest in peace, his last performance. Nobody was even talking about Sweet Baby Inc. like that when the Suicide Squad was going on. Because the writing was just only one of the problems. We weren't focused on that. We were focused on the disrespect of these legendary icons of fiction, the Justice League. I didn't hear a sweet baby being brought up like that when that game was going on. <sighs> I went off on a tangent like that and I almost forgot that this guy wrote two more tweets under this main tweet. So let's just get to that. This one says, Law, extremely normal behavior to search for people discussing a topic or sharing an article defending a harassment campaign definitely didn't ooze absolute loser energy. I am, of course, not blocking on site and investigating a terrible opinion. Yup, good job. Okay, you can do what you want. Nobody really cares or know who you are. But then he posted another reply. And here's what it says. Have reached my bullshit limit for this tweet. And it wasn't even a big tweet. Can only imagine the amount of scoop of shit others have been dealing with regarding this. Best of wishes to y'all. Let them shout into the void where you can. So basically just going on blocking people because he can't handle different opinions. So typical for these types of people on their side of the political aisle. If they can't send to you, they just block you. Sometimes they can't help it and just comment on your post. But they'll just block you or try to get you to cancel yourself or censor you. It's just all this nonsense. Again... Stop calling gamers who are fighting back against this harassment. So this started with a harassment campaign. Do these retards ever gonna just say that part out loud? No, because it doesn't go along with their message. 
because they know it makes them look like the bad guy. It makes the people behind Sweet Baby look like the bad guy that they started this controversy in the first place. So they're never going to admit that. And these people will always continue to gaslight right until they lose their jobs or see their colleagues lose their jobs. I don't know what this guy is. Is he a manager or what? But it doesn't matter at the end of the day because the gaming industry is falling apart. And I love to see industries completely burned down. This is all so avoidable. You didn't have to attack the fans. You can just give the fans what they want. So keep defending this. We all know who you are and what you work for or what you, your name is. And when we see any of you weirdos defending this company, when we see your names on a product or in an advertisement, we're not buying that shit. It's over. You've shown your true colors. I don't understand disrespecting the actual audience who who you want to buy your product. It does not make any sense to me. This strategy will never make sense. You are beyond stupid at this point. Defending this company will only lead to the death sentence of your brand. Good fucking luck. You guys deserve it's the death of the entire industry. Video game devs can fuck off. And that is it for the video today, guys. Thank you for watching. Follow me on Twitter. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hit the like button. Buy my merchandise. Links down below. And have a great day. Thank you.